The online vitriol between fans defending the respective WWE and AEW products on social media is a daily occurrence in pro wrestling. It says here at WrestlingObserver.com. But Tony Khan says he knows why that is. An online campaign against his company. The AEW head took to Twitter Friday morning to claim that, quote, an independent study has confirmed that much of the staunch anti-AEW online community aren't real individuals. It's a staff running thousands of accounts plus an army of bots to signal boost them. Look closely. These aren't real people. Who'd pay for such a wildly expensive thing? Khan then went on to tweet, Research this one yourselves. You internet detectives thrive in these situations. He then plugged Friday's edition of Rampage. And then he wrote, their boiler room staff is going to be working overtime on a Friday, and I love it. Several minutes after that, he questioned why so many of these accounts were just tweets and replies. Ever wonder, he says, why so much of the activity of these accounts is retweets and replies? Like, who actually has 80% of their activity as straight-up retweets? The source of the independent study, or the study itself that was cited in the original tweet, has yet to be identified. So I know... I know from looking around, ironically, social media, a lot of people saw these tweets and they decided that Tony Khan has completely lost his mind. Well, here's what I can tell you about this, all right? All I can tell you is this. So he did commission an actual study. He owns an analytics company the the study or whatever i uh whatever you want to call it i mean this was a a legitimately commissioned study and uh they did tell him that they had discovered this okay now that's all i know about it i could tell you that uh the under- my understanding is that this is not just like he's going to do a bunch of tweets and then, you know, we're done with it. I mean, there's more to come here. And uh, I-, I guess, you know, listen, when I saw the tweets, I thought, what is this guy talking about? But uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. This is not a made-up story. This is not him pretending. This is not whatever. Whoever he commissioned, that that's what they discovered and that's what they told him. So... Who's doing this? I mean, it's for those of you that are wondering, like, well, why are there no, you know, why are there no sources? Why is there not more information out? Why did he leave it at this? Well, that is to come. So this is not like the end of it here. And uh, my understanding is that they're not complete. Uh, The study is not complete yet. So anyway, uh, you're welcome to think that he's he's nuts. But this is not some guy who just, like, decided one day, oh, these eggs, you know, someone's paying for these eggs. Like, there was a real study. There was a real company doing the study. And the company did tell him what he tweeted today. So whether this leads to more, I mean, you know. I would hope so. I would hope it leads to more just because in that otherwise, why would you then tweet this with no... Not showing who it came from, not showing that it's complete data, and just doing it that way. So, yeah, I, I would I would hope that there's going to be more to this. Why? I don't know. I don't know what the reasoning would be, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, to be honest, with, with all of what he said, the one part you skipped over was, to me, the most entertaining part of his three or four tweets that he had here, which was... Reach, research this one yourselves. You internet detectives thrive in these situations. Speaking of wild things, you won't want to miss John Moxley <laughs> and Wheeler Utah yeah. tonight on AW Rampage. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was the, the best part of the whole bit. Now, again, anything he tweets is going to get a lot of attention. And I know he, Tony Khan can be a spaz when he's out there and Samoa Joe and he's... I get it. I get all that. But he's obviously not a dumb human being. I just, again, he's not, he's obviously not doing this to leave it here because if he is just leaving it here, then he is being a spaz. So how, but 
there is, a, again, even if there is something to come from this, any negative pushback he does get, again, he, he didn't cite anything. He didn't really say anything besides the obvious that we all know, which is there are people out there. There are a bunch of bots that hype things up. We went through this with politics and we just know from our everyday lives, looking at social media, if you're somewhat savvy at all, that there's a whole lot of nonsense and bots out there that retweet and do stuff. So I, I'm interested to see how big this fire is. Uh, with these smoke signals he sent out. Well, I would also like to, uh, I want to know more because, listen, I don't doubt for one second, and I know this, you know, quite well myself. Yes, there are a lot of bots out there. There's a lot of whatever. But I'm not sure it could be most. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get a lot, I get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of negativity on my Twitter. Like, if you want to go up and read the mentions when I when I put the ratings out, I mean, there's, there's like a lot of insanity up there. But, uh... You know, I'm not sure that I would believe that most of that is is anti AW bots. Maybe it is. I don't know. I've never commissioned a study, but I, I do know that like, you know, we do we do shows on on uh, YouTube and on Twitch, and uh, the you know the Twitch chat here you you pay. Uh, actually, I don't know if you pay for no, you don't pay for the the free. Anyway, point is, there's a Twitch chat and a YouTube chat, and uh, they're very very different. Uh, the the Twitch chat, uh, you know, it's it's more, more intelligent. Well, that's... and if you're on the YouTube chat, and you're insulted by that, then go over to the Twitch chat. And I think one of the big differences is the Twitch chat is more heavily moderated. So, like, if you're just a total idiot, you're not going to last on the Twitch chat. Whereas if you're a total idiot on the YouTube chat, you're just a total idiot, and you know people mock you and everything like that. But I don't think there's a lot of banning or anything like that. But the point is, I mean, there's a lot of real people that are doing this so yeah. i wouldn't be sitting here saying that like most of the youtube chat is bots i don't believe that i mean they interact with people and and you know i whatever you want to say about bots they usually don't get insulted people speak wild so, with no repercussions and they're yes. able to do that and they they let it out and sometimes it's their real feelings a lot of times people are just trolling or poking at people to get a reaction and you know, with AEW, look, there are people that are going to watch the product that honestly go, you know what, that's just not for me. So and my point of all of this very quickly is, like, are okay. most of these, is most of this anti-AEW sentiment bots? I would actually like to see that data there. I don't believe, like, I don't uh, disbelieve for one second that there are anti-AEW bots and probably a lot of them out there. But to say it's most, like, I'd be interested in that. Because I don't think it's most on my timeline. I think it's it's a portion of it, maybe even a sizable, but not most. I think it's just a Dude, bunch of. I don't know. Like I was saying, nutty I'll people. Just cut you off now since you cut me off there. There are just people that one either aren't going to like the product they just don't like it. And they might say that, and that gets a reaction out of people. There are people that are going to be obtuse about it. Not there's all sorts of people out there that are saying all sorts of things, and I, I to me, does it. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I, I don't think that that swing of, of public sentiment on social media should not be an end all and be all. It shouldn't be that important it, to me. This is if this is leading to something else more diabolical. And that's where I want to see the size of the fire, because to just say that there's people who don't like your product or people get whipped into a frenzy by these bots, I mean, that's how public opinion goes and the court of public opinion goes. There's always somebody to sway it in media. If it wasn't bots on here, it would be media or whatever it would be. But like, if there's more to this, as far as who is, is running these bots or for, is it more of not just swinging public opinion, but it's to do something else. That's what I want to know. That's the only thing I would care about. I don't care about the numbers, just who it is. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Wrestling Inc., this is an update uh, to the story. It's on the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. Wrestling Inc. reached out to Khan for comment and got the following response. Tony Khan said, Waiting for final study, but here is what my expert confirmed. It's people with real live accounts making posts and then using their bots to manipulate the social channel algorithm by backing them up with engagement from a made-up Twitter identity. Social media teams will often fight on this. Bots are great for numbers, and when they're gone, you'll see a dip in digital conversation impressions. Both those were either negative sentiment or not real anyway. For example, I tweet... 
Uh, Mega only eats rotten bananas. I throw, say, 18 bots behind it, which takes about five minutes to do. Twitter security can differentiate when done well, and neither can most social teams. The problem becomes... Every time people type Mega to the search bar because of a real account supported by bots, the first suggested result would be tweets about Mega eating rotten bananas. I'm oversimplifying, but that's my five-cent version of what's happening. I'm too old for this. Uh-huh. That's what but I'm anyway, right now. the point is... <laughs> I'm thinking maybe you know so much about this. Are you doing this too? You, like... I don't know. I... Mm. This is all, well, like I said, I'll Someone who doesn't own an analytics is. company, can you explain this to me in English? Please. But the yes. point is, there's something here. He's not making this up. <laughs> can, can, can we get some layman speak on the uh, the analytics uh, talk, please? Good He's Lord. like, how is this hard to understand? It's hard to understand because I don't live on the internet and on Twitter. I have a disconnect here somewhere I mean, if with he how wants, it works. If he wants to write about how to use an air fryer, I mean, I would understand that. Rob Bartlett is the man He tried the best he can Vince on the new What Rob Bartlett's gonna do to you Vinny V, Happy Corbin, and Bartlett in a three-way Oh Here comes the commentator Rob Bartlett, he's a great imitator of Vince McMahon Rob, you're the love of my life Come back to Monday Night Raw and be my wife. <laughs> what? Wow. Is this Rob Bartlett? Guilty as ch- Hey! Oh, look who's here on the show, everybody! There's a star here. Rob, hey, Rob Bartlett is joining us here today. How you doing, Rob? I don't know what to say about this. To actually be proposed to in song was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of an impression of him other than the the tone of the voice, you know. He still got it. <laughs> he still got it. I think I had the wrong guy. Well, what, what did you learn about the the Rob Bartlett that you you uh, you checked out? He was an explorer way back when. That's not him. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. He was born August 15th, 1875, and so, died and you, April 28th, 1946. He died in, okay, so, but you thought he might be on the show this week. Well, I couldn't figure out why you guys picked him. Here you go to the Brian and Vinnie Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey. Aye, 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 aye. Well, there he goes. Very aye. prestigious. You get nothing. You've warmed the cockles of my heart. I have warm cockles now. And um, lucky fella. I'm uh, I'm I'm moist. I'll just say that oh, yeah. I'm, I'm moist. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.